So this is a, just a really quick video on how to use the, the kind of the functionality on the calculator. So we're talking about this new calculator here. Um, at the moment, Tesco are selling these calculators at 11, 11 euro something. They're down from 15 euro something. So in Tesco, now I know you shouldn't be going out just to buy a calculator, but if you happen to do your weekly shop in a Tesco, um, these are now slightly cheaper than they usually are, okay? Um, I'll see if I have any of the old calculators with me. I'm not sure where my set of them are, but I'll try and get a second video up on the old calculator as well. Okay, so um, this is the question that we I think we had, or something very similar to it, just a few minutes ago on the um, on on how to find the size of an angle if we're given two sides in a triangle. So we've been given this right angle triangle, and we're asked to find the size of um, this angle x here. So we immediately write out what we have and what we need. And what we have is, uh, we don't know what we have, so we should label it up. Um, so let's label it up as opposite, hypotenuse and theta. Okay, so we have O, H, and we need theta. And we know we're going to use um, silly, old Hitler couldn't advance his troops over Africa and that's sine theta equals cos theta equals tan theta equals. So we decide we're going to use one of these three things and the one we're going to use is quite correctly it's going to be sine. So in this instance sine is the correct one to use because it has an O, a H and a theta. So we write sine and we start filling in what we know. So we know our theta, in our case, theta is x. So we put in an x, then it's equals. O is three and our h is six. So sine x is equal to 0 0.5, x is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.5, we probably should put that in brackets, so x is equal to, now we then go over to our calculator, we turn our calculator on, and in order to get this, um, in order to get sine inverse, well we do shift sine, and now I can put in 0 0.5 and that's, I should probably close my bracket, equals 30. So x is 30 degrees. So that's where the sine inverse comes from. Okay. So I might put up another video if you use the old type, the old type of calculator. Hopefully that will be good enough for those of you who use a new type.